just don't know. You just don't know what's going to happen in New York. Hello, beautifuls. Welcome back to my Chanel. Well, my loves, it's been a little while. This is my first video back since having facial feminization surgery in Marbella with Facial Team. I actually made a documentary for the entire process from start to finish that you can watch on my Chanel right here. If you have a little look-see in there, is it this one? This way. <laughs> if you click the card in this corner, you will be able to watch the full documentary. And just as a little forewarning, Quite emotional, but completely life-changing. With that being said, my lovelies, I'm still a little bit numb and feel a little bit kind of, um, <laughs> effed up if I'm honest. <laughs> but today, today, my lovelies, I am so glad to bring it all the way back to America's Next Top Scandal Girls. <laughs> In the last episode of America's Next Top Scandal Girls, we watched Katie face her fears of being dangled over a gaping orifice in the middle of an abandoned warehouse for the fashion. We also saw the house kind of group up a little bit on Camille, and I'm not quite enjoying that storyline if I'm honest with you, so I wonder how today is going to turn out. Today we are watching episode 4 of Cycle 2. Now I believe this is like almost halfway. I'm also still dealing with a little bit of swelling, which is kind of why I look a little bit strange. Strange. Still a little bit strange. Not quite human yet, but who wants to be human anyway? So today I am drinking Pepsualier Max from my skull glass. Delisa girls! Delisa girls! Also, we watched the Swan Season 2 pageant a few weeks back on this Chanel. If you want to go back and watch it, my loves, make sure you haven't missed it. Leaving Siamara starved for attention. I didn't really have oh, much yes, to do with Katie. Oh, yes, Siamara. And Heather. Was it Siamara versus Heather? And Heather, and Heather and went, girls. Who will be eliminated tonight? Who's gonna be eliminated today, girls? A nationwide woman, Katie, Camille, Joanna, Janesha, girls. Oh, I've got that. Siamara is such a gorgeous name. Ten weeks, Methany, girls, Mercedes, Chanvarliers, Epaliers. Who will be America's next top Pussy. Oh, I'll see Amara. Because we only had two hours sleep from the night before. Two hours sleep I'm before a photo that shoot. I have to one up everyone else with what I'm doing because on the last judging they told me that was my weakest week ever, and I will never allow that to happen. Weakest week ever. It was only three weeks though. So I've never been under this. Oh, look at Katie. And I actually think I'm handling it very well. Oh. She kind of reminds me of like a character from The Legend of Zelda in a very strange way. I am. Janasha. The short thing's gonna be a factor. Five seven is a little short to be a model, so we have to compensate. Oh, Janice, who's gonna listen to you? It seems like you know nothing about modeling. And do the best that I can in every single situation. Recently at the house, my hair has been falling out because of the high medication I take every day. I was diagnosed with lupus, which is a chronic illness. Um, this is taking a turn. System about a year ago and wow. it pretty much changed my life. It's best to keep it a secret because I don't want to talk about, oh, how are you feeling? Oh, this must be hard. You know, don't give me that. I don't need it. I can understand that though. I can understand not wanting to necessarily have to share every little intimate aspect about your life, even if it's just on TV. Do you know what I mean? I bet Mercedes will be asked a lot of questions from production though, being like, we saw you taking medication. What do you think the other girls in the house are going to do about that? It's like, this is a modeling show. It's got absolutely nothing to do with it. Don't you, wouldn't you agree? Wouldn't you agree? Like realistically, none of these people in this house are friends, but I can also understand that when you're put in like a high pressure situation as, um, as the, the title sequence said, it was 10 weeks. I'm guessing filming was probably like eight weeks, six to eight weeks, something like that. She's got a degree. I don't know if you can produce like a best friendship over that time. You can definitely get close to people, but I wouldn't want everyone to know my medication that I'm on, you know, in that situation. I'd be like, mm, don't worry about it. It's just a thing. Like, don't worry. <laughs> Not everyone is entitled to know absolutely everything about you, you know. I love boxing. I can't oh. wait to go. This morning, they have to work out with Martin. It's like, yo, yo, you know, what's up? Coming to my gym. It's 8.30. It's 8.30. Is this yeah, the same the guy as the one from season one? Camille, let's go. You know, I've oh. always, like, held the elevator for everyone. Just close the door. I was there two seconds. What a shocker. What a, I've just dribbled everywhere. That is disgusting. What a shocker. Joanna was the one being like, close the doors, close the doors. 
I am really starting to not like Ioana in this series because it seems like she has a real personal vendetta against Camille. Now, I'm not saying Camille is an angel, but I haven't really seen anything to make me go, I really hate Camille. I feel like she's being painted as the villain when she's just a bit nonplussed. And I don't feel like being nonplussed about, is nonplussed the phrase? Noncommittal? Nonplussed. I feel like it's not enough. Like, I don't feel like being nonplussed is enough to warrant this this reaction from you, Anna? What do you think? Let me know in the comments box below. Oh, I haven't said that in ages. <laughs> oh, that was disgusting, Luxaria. Get a grip. Oh, so I was like, they want to huddle up, you know, and be friends and get in the elevator. Go ahead and do that. It's a competition. And it's not a sorority. You're not here to be friends with anyone. The point is to win. That's true. That is true. Remember, at the end of the day, the end of the title, it is a competition. Translation. At the end of the day, it is a competition. Boxing! Anytime you're ready. Come on, kid. All right, we're getting ready. We got a competition oh, now, Katie. right? And it's not the, the uh, waitress of Martin the year competition. Martin Snow. It's the top model Does competition. He's ever the toughest mental. In the out. That's the one that wins, okay? Come on, let's go. Let's get some gloves right, let's on. Go. Let's do a little boxing today. Guys, set. Go. Shape punch, both hands. Come on, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Hard, hard, hard. hard. One, Why are we boxing? Come on, let's go. You gotta hit it with everything I got. Everybody wanna go home? No. Okay. Hit it, hit it, hit it. You quit. You're out. You quit. You're gonna hit it harder than that. Why are we now. boxing? Keep going. Come what? on, hit it harder. Hit it harder. Do slow. Get out of there. Come on. Done. You're out. Why is this Get happening? Hit that side. Uh -huh. Come on, both guys. Both guys. Keep it. Come on, kid. The last man standing. It's down to uh, April and Camille. Oh, so is this like an endurance yeah. test? Oh, what a surprise! Camille's doing really well, and no one's like cheering her on. Nobody was saying, "Go Camille." You want to hit the big time? You want to hit the big time? Three, two, one, go! That could have been a lovely moment then. Imagine if someone had been like, go Camille, go Camille, go Camille. She could have potentially had like a really lovely friendship then. Like an actual blossoming like TV friendship, I guess. But still something. But they actually seemed like they were all just kind of like... Neglecting Camille. I do... I, f I feel quite bad for Camille in this whole series so far. I don't think it's... um, I don't think it's great how they're treating her. I really don't. Okay. Oh. Draw. We're gonna Oh, look at their okay, tummies. Go. One. One. Two. Three. Two. Three. Two. Three. 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 Four. Not Five. even two. All right, hold it right there. Hold Thanking. it. Come on, hang it, hang it, hang it. Hang it. Come on, Camille, you can do it. Although I actually like April as well. I have learned in the past, okay, this burns, this hurts, but if you just deal with the pain, you will reap the benefits. She's weak. Ah. She's weakening. Oh. Well done, I've April girls. April showers. In not giving into weakness. Not giving into weakness. Focused, she's mm. dedicated. You get the goal. I realize that not a lot of people are down with me, but I'm doing this for me, not anyone else. Exactly. Yay. That's what you have to remember. Oh, kicked up the body slit. <laughs> Your clothes tell the world who you truly are. You are what you wear. Come dress to express. Come dress to express. Wear what expresses you. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Fashion on the runway. I could not believe it. What's happening? They have to be ready for a... Hey, with your everybody. own style. Hi. How you doing? Oh! Well, I really like this, like, racer jumpsuit on Tyra. Also, she really suits the middle part. This kind of, like, svelte, kind of, like, skin-tight denim. Is it stretch denim? That's what it looks like. Not very often that I compliment Tyra's fashion because it is very 2000s, and I'm not a huge fan of the early 2000s, even though I grew up in it. Oh. Yeah, I like this. This one doesn't bother me quite so much, but I think it would look nicer in black. You guys are gonna be learning about personal style. Personal and I have style. my buddy here. Very appropriate. Mr. Simon Zunin. Simon is the creative director of Barney's New York. Barney's. Barney had a septic bite, evolutionarily perfected. If you got away, you still would die, because a bite would get infected. The handily responsible. I don't know what that is. Window dressing and art form. Simon is awesome. I'm so excited to oh, see Oh, visual merchandising. BHS will be pleased. BHS. Has anybody in the audience ever worked in visual merchandising? Have you? 
It's a bit soul destroying, isn't it? Um, he is like a fashion guru. In New York, you never know who you're going to run into. You, so you have to think you about. You just don't know. You just single. don't know what's going to happen in New York. What is my philosophy? Could be on anyone. Life and how do I express that with my clothing? The winner of America's Next Top Model is going to be gout. working the red carpet. You walk down that red carpet, there's a hundred photographers taking your picture, and that image goes around the world. Yes. I've been on best dress list, and I've been on worst dress list. Yes. But I think it's a lot more interesting to talk about when I was on the worst dress list, and I have some examples for y'all. In terms oh, this of is fun. Style, here's one where I look like a damn fool. I look like a hoe. You know, even though I have on a skirt. I'd never say what that. What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? Am I wearing a bikini top? She likes highlighter. Up to an award show for it. And I have the ultimate worst dressed photo coming up right now. I was asked to host the Academy Awards pre-show. I had lost my damn mind. It was a wedding dress, but I was like, make it in purple. And everybody was Linda saying- Linda the good witch. Linda the good witch, if Little you didn't poop. stop. <laughs> we're gonna kind of analyze each and every single one of you. And once you a lilac. Lavender wedding dress to host an award show. So I don't actually think that in the early 2000s, stylists were really that much of a thing. I mean, obviously it was a career option. Obviously it was a job. Obviously, like, there was an industry for it. But celebrities quite often didn't actually go to stylists to get dressed for events. Quite often they'd do their own styling. You see it all the time in these amusing little, like, red carpet events from that sort of era. Especially things like, the one that I can think of is, uh, is it the Lizzie McGuire one? It was Ashley Tisdale. We're going to kind of analyze each and every single one be you and analysis want you to of fashion. Stand up and explain to me how your clothes tell a story about you. Ooh. Starting with April. I think I'm most comfortable in my own skin. So I like to show a lot of skin. When you say you want to show a lot of skin, that isn't necessarily a fashion point of view. So you've got to constantly weigh up do I look groovy? Do I look hip? Do I look stylish? Groovy. Versus do I just look provocative? Mercedes. I liked the way that he used the word provocative there and didn't say anything else like a hoe or slutty or like a slapper from the block. Good heavens. Like, I'm quite happy that he used the word provocative there because he could have said something quite derogatory. Oh, derogatory. Derogatory? Derogatory girls. Like victory. And I don't think the word provocative is actually derogatory. How would you feel if your style was described as provocative? I feel like mine could be described as provocative sometimes. And I don't find that like upsetting. If someone was like, you dress like a tart. I'd be like, oh, don't say that. Oh no, I'm going to change my outfit now. <laughs> Mercedes, explain to me your personal style. I grew up in a Latin community, so I always wear fresh flowers in my hair. Oh, lovely. That would be memorable to me. And at the end of the day, that's what you guys want. Sarah, I like to be funky. I don't always like to match. You have to be really Ooh, careful with the Oh, look at her outfit. Oh my goodness me. This is the 2000s. She has a above the calf, but below the knee beige stiletto boot that ends in a pointed tip. Trini will be pleased. Daytime tweed with an evening chiffon. And she also has fence net tights on. Now, I used to be a fan of fence net tights as well. I don't know why. It just was. And a blue, is this a camisole? Is that what you would call a camisole? Spaghetti, it's not quite a spaghetti strap, is it? It's a little bit thicker than a spaghetti strap. More like a tagliatelle or a linguine strap. Hello, this is Editing Luxaria. Luxaria has lost her mind. And a denim skirt. Beautiful. Yeah, I don't always like to match. You have to be really careful with the things that you take from street style. All right, Shandy. You have to be I careful. I so if I find anything that looks kind of vintage to me, I like to wear it. When I saw <gasps> you, I thought, here's a girl who's got her own thing going on. Skirt's great, but just she needs to be so like... covered, show a little something somewhere, like a wife beater or something. <laughs> All right, see you tomorrow. Beater. That's mm -hmm. good, with the hoop earrings. I think you figured out a look that's, that you're owning. I like the fact See that there's sexiness here, but then you're covered here. Mm -hmm. It's a nice balance. Mm -hmm. Camille, mm -hmm. then you're covered here. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure I agree. I mean, I, I, um, um, what do you even, ah, uh, body oil. What do you even call a, um, a top that is this style? Like, I know what this is. This is like kind of, kind of like a boob tube, I guess you would call it. Um, is it a bandeau? Is that what it's called? A bandeau, girls. What do you call a top? What do you call a top? Who's the woman? <laughs>
A blouse is the answer. What do you call a top that has this like cut? Like it's like she's put on a long sleeve shirt, but kind of like tucked it behind her head. What do you call this style? What is this? What is this top called? Here, it's a nice balance. I hate the hat. Nail. Oh. My parents are from Jamaica, West Indies. My personal style is normally just wearing. Don't like, like the, the shoes. Colors, Love that jacket. Um, the flag um, from the country that I'm from. Okay. That is for the blood that was shed. Yellow is for the sunshine, and green is for the land. Oh God, Camille. Blah 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 blah. I think you're probably thinking. Oh, about the Jamara, too, stop being hateful. Expressing your your culture through other ways. I've seen you express it through putting your hair up. This I've might seen... be a little too theoretical. Yoana. Yoana. Of all of the girls, I think you look most like a, a regular model. You look like a groovy hip fashion model. Tanasha? I think she looks like a doily. Thank you very much. That's much better. The, um, this skirt makes my legs look a little bit longer, tennis. which is important. <gasps> Those shoes! Platform! Oh my god, platform, um, platform trainers. Look a little bit longer, which is important. Look at that. Are they even trainers? No, gosh, they're like a... They're kind of like a painted on... Converse, but it's got a skinny wedge. I kind of like them. Oh, disgusting. You do seem to have a, a specific personal style, but I don't think you've nailed it. I'm not. She looks like the red carpet of like Lizzie McGuire. I'm looking at you here to represent 5'7. Katie? She doesn't represent 5'7. I just got a brand seven. new haircut. I think this fits my new, kind of just ties my whole haircut together. It ties your haircut? I think there's a little too much hooker style going on with the leg warmers with the high heels. Too much what style? Little too much hooker style going on with oh. the leg warmers with the high heels. Day hooker. The hookers hang out by the docks and see what they're wearing and then avoid it. But it's the top from here up is fine. Don't okay. get disillusioned. <laughs> Some can you imagine going in front of a fashion panel and being told that you look like a hooker and that you have to go down to the docks and see what other hookers are wearing and be like, no, I'm not wearing that. Now, I don't know about you, but in my time on this planet, in the clubs and the scenes that I have frequented, I have known a few sex workers, shall we say. Let me tell you, their style is very expensive. Apparently, they're the only ones that seem to have a lot of disposable income. Let's just say that. Gifts galore. I won't go any further. Sit down, Katie, and think about what you've done. Comfortable with being self-critical, being critical of each other. And what I get from some of you guys oh, is that you can't with being critical of each other. That. In particular, you. She can't you seem to be getting kind of irate because I would never say anybody was ho. I'd say that's ho style. Oh. You have to get used to the fact that it's not really about you. If it was you and me talking, that's cool. Except you knew when you entered into this competition that you're not going to sit there for three weeks and with an umbrella drink with everybody telling you how fabulous you no, are. No, I didn't expect that at all. But she, I just... she did. She did. She fully did. She fully expected that. She expected everyone to bend to her whim and go, oh, what a gorgeous fashion you are. Everybody telling you how fabulous you no, are. No, I didn't expect that at all. But I just... It sounds like you did. Somebody to call it, say you look like a whole... It wasn't even criticism. It's it's about style. The person uh, that took it the worst was Katie. And I'm sitting next to her and I'm just shocked. Although I must remember Remember that these girls are really young as well. Imagine, like, I think Katie is 18. Being told that you're like a hooker at 18 because you've put your heart and style onto a TV show, it's kind of not it really, is it? I do forget how young they are because all the styling back in the 2000s was designed to make people look older. And nowadays I feel like everything we're doing is kind of like to look young. So my heart kind of I'm a, I'm a bit, it's a bittersweet paradoxical situation, isn't it, girls? Because on the one hand, I am like, oh, Katie, I feel sorry for you. But on the other hand, I'm like, get a grip. A oh. dead body. He could have said provocative like he did with the other model. Who was the other model he spoke that to? I forget. And amazed. So she's back talking. She's an actress. She's so good at acting. She's like... Oh, I'm I'm upset. Please, please let everybody know oh, I'm Casey upset. Getting a bad you have to treat edit. her like a baby. I feel like Tara knows edit. what's going on, and she knows who can take it, who can't. Can she take her bashing? Oh no, <laughs> Katie's dead. <laughs> oh dear. Oh no. 
My whole fear of having lupus is that people are going to judge me and think I'm not going to be able to do the work. It's like, oh, I can't hire you because, you know, you're going to be too tired. You're going to be sleeping on the job. Mm, that's ableist, I sis. Push as hard as you're I protected can. under <laughs> discrimination laws. What was that? Yeah, Why was that? Oh, awful. Me. The wildest designer in New York City. The it's wildest Hermel designer in New York City. Is it Heather Ed? I'm going to meet one of New York's wackiest designers. Who's the designer? <laughs> Betsy Johnson! She is quite wacky. Hi, Betsy. First thing I see is Betsy Johnson, and I just freak out. I'm like, yay! Oh, I'm glad she knows who she is. Personal style is... Uh... Oh, I love Betsy. Doesn't she look like a haunted scarecrow? Personal style is um, trying to figure out who you are and being that. That ain't easy. Yeah. My... Name and my style has happened simply because I've worked hard yes. and I stuck to who I am and what I look like. Oh, well, here's a personal Satan. statement. <laughs> a knitted I hope Satan. Y'all can see my last dog. show because that shows a very specific kind of girl. Okay. Let's go see seconds of it. Oh, look at the dog. You should see her at the end. She dances the whole way, and that's what I want my next show to be like. I want all the girls. Oh, she's so wonderfully deranged. That's great. I'm sorry. Does Betsy Johnson's top that she have on say guys love BJ? Demonetized girls. I am never going to financially recover from this. See, for my show, that's what I want. Woo! Carmel time. Yeah, woo! Oh, she woo! is so delightfully now unhinged. Now seen my style, we're going to go back to the apartment Oh, that's a jump. You're card. gonna be put to the test Repeat to show it. me your style. So now the real test is on. Haven't they already shown this? Aren't they now dressed in the... the real deal no? about personal style? Okay, right. I've been having trouble dressing myself lately as myself. I've got this like tomboy. I want to wear my tennis shoes or whatever's comfortable to me look. I'm still trying to figure out my personal style. So what you're gonna do is you're 18, you're, not you're allowed, allowed to. to wear your own clothes. You've got 10 minutes to rummage around <laughs> in everybody else's closet. I was looking for their body language and their what heart and soul and spirit. It has nothing to do with makeup, hair, clothes, or shoes. I... It has to do with the person. Betsy. I absolutely fully agree with Betsy Johnson there. The way that you dress is such a visual language to describe who you are, what you like, and where you've come from in a way. If you haven't noticed yet and you followed me for a little while, I only wear black. The only place I will wear color is either on my eyes or on my lips. I wear black because it makes me feel powerful. It invokes a level of intimidation, which I kind of enjoy. It looks little bit, just a little bit. And also, I don't have to waste the brain power thinking about getting things that match because every single thing in my wardrobe matches with every other thing. And I will always look like at the drop of a hat, I am ready to go to a fancy restaurant or a business dinner. Maybe not in today's outfit. I could go to the gym. <laughs> Betsy's trying to see if our personal styles can radiate so bright that it doesn't matter what kind of clothes we're wearing. I, I do have to pick one winner. Okay, the what do they win? prize to the contest is a fabulous, fabulous dinner out in New York City. Oh. Some fabulous, fabulous guest. Ready? Another socializing event. We have to go through everybody's clothes. I kind of feel like maybe even though the budget is increased for this season, in the last season, we also saw them winning like abilities to go and like hang out with people. It feels like a lot of the prizes in America's Next Top Model are just go and hang out with this person, but you're also at dinner or you're in the recording studio or blah. And it's like, was there no budget? Like they didn't win anything. You didn't win like a cosmetics trip or like, you know, headshots for your portfolio or an hour with this world renowned model to learn a bit more about the secret to a successful career. Do you know what I mean? Like there was no real prizes for the career. It was like, go out to dinner, go to the recording studio. Do you know what I mean? Like it feels like they're an afterthought. Pick out an outfit that represents us within 10 minutes. So they're going through each other's clothes? 
established. She's gonna take some of my clothes and I'm yes. gonna wear her boots. Mercedes had a cute little coquetta skirt that I thought would be really a cute and probably skirt. flirty to walk in. If someone made me skirt. go into other people's skirt. closets and like, like Yo, wear anything, I'd be like, absolutely not. Accessories? And then Camille goes, well, let me borrow your jewelry. And this is uh, what I have. So I give her my jewelry in her hand, everything, my watch, my leather cuff, and my beautiful, beautiful Indian earrings. I need a pair of shoes. The earrings that she gave me and like the jewelry she gave me did not go with that pretty pink dress. So I took it, I went to the bathroom, I put it on the counter. Three, Put it two, on the counter. And... Go see time! <laughs> okay, oh. Sarah has to start. Oh, it's very 2000. <laughs> Weirdly enough, that bright yellow color is in at the moment. Last runway show. Zumara. All righty. <laughs> There's a tiny bit of confusion. Yes. You want to be a glamorous beauty, but I'd say the more hip hop style is you, Camille. I do like that dress. All right. Do I like that dress? No, it I don't. Lies. Now. Mama, if it's not a Mugler suit, then just don't bother. You just need that polishing. Yes. April. Oh, yes. Yes. Love it. Well, maybe not that. Woo, okay. Love Go the hair. April. Love the dress. Black. Luana. I hate it. For some reason, this reminds me of Shane Dawson. Ugh. I don't feel well, but I'm trying to be strong and I'm just trying to let oh, no one Mercedes. know. Mercedes. I don't feel like Mercedes. this is fair. Wow. Remember those skinny scarves? Miss they were a thing, weren't they? Smiley, friendly, personality on the runway, and that will be your strength. Yes. Janasha. Come on, Janasha girls. Ooh, heeled Timberlands. <gasps> Off shoulder, a blue gape. I'm not one of these where, unless you're six feet, I can't work with you. I think you're almost there. Just six months of modeling school, walking all that junk. Just said I needed six months of um, modeling school. Katie. Well, if you want a career in something that's going to last 40 years, potentially, then yeah, six months of training is actually really good. Think about the amount of people that go out and get degrees, master's degrees, PhDs, postdoctorates, and then get into their career. That's what, like 12 years? Think about those people. Like, yeah, you could manage six months of modeling school. Of course. I don't think that's unreasonable. I suppose at 21, though, I would have been like, six months? What do you mean, six months? Goiter! I'll be a dead body! <laughs> Oh, hideous. Mm. She needs to, like, rock up her hair a little bit. It's very pristinely styled, like, bouffant, blech. Do you know what I mean? Like, I'm sure they gave her a pixie cut to be more, like, edgy. But she's like, it has to be like this. Like, it's very pixie. Like, I, I hate it. It doesn't have enough of the real you yet, Katie. Yes. Okay. There's no you edge. figure out... Who is that? Because who is got... that? A child. No. The style and the walk, but we haven't found Katie in the middle of it yet. She is only 18 Shandy. though. Oh. Oh, I love a boat neck. <gasps> Breast. Oh. Interesting. She should have let her hair down for this and just been like. Whoosh, 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 whoosh. Don't try to be the the sex pot. <laughs> that the other girls are Pot doing. Sex? Your strength is that you're not that. Oh my goodness. All the music is like, I have to well, off to, to the guillotine. Win. Shandy this is our winner. Aww. She's like, this is our winner. And like all the other girls like, oh, Shandy. I get that a lot from the girls. I see oh, it. Shandy. I didn't think that she would pick her at all. I actually thought that maybe she would pick Mercedes. She had quite a lot to say about Mercedes. And also April. I thought it was between those two contestants. But evidently Shandy's like, oh, uh, in a boat neck. Uh, one. Shandy's in a boat neck. Oh. Oh, oh Shandy. She's like, She's this is our winner. Now. And oh. like all the other girls like, oh, Shandy. I get that a lot from the girls. I see a potential 
in Shandy that just needs a little tweaking because even through the heels and through the dress, you couldn't cover up your personal style. You Is a boat neck striped top to personal dinner. style? And you'll meet your surprise mystery guest. <laughs> That's horrible. <laughs> Today, I got a lot of encouragement to kind of help me just to drive and just keep going no matter what. I'm not ever going back to Walgreens. Oh, look. A later date. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is it. A cartwheel. Don't do that with IBS. Camille, my earring is broken, and I, I mean, I can't replace the heart. When it was over, Simara came up to me and was like, Camille, you broke my earring. Oh. Oh, my God. Like, this is all I freaking need right now. My girlfriend's a jewelry designer. She, it, it can be fixed, okay? I'll fix it for you. Don't worry about it. She gave them to me, broken, and didn't tell me. Did you pawn them? No. Why would you just not just tell me? I'm sorry I broke your earrings. I'm going to go fix them. Give it to me. It's my responsibility, and I'll fix it. But you're just going to have to wait. Okay, so now I have to fix this girl's earring, which I was just like... This was a non-situation. Like, although Siomara reacted in a way that was like, why didn't she tell me they were broken? Uh, I don't know if that was maybe producers being like, and are you upset that she didn't tell you that they were broken? Uh, because actually the fact that Camille was like, I will get them instantly fixed. Like, no worries. My friend is a jewelry designer and we'll fix it. Like, that's a, an end to the issue. I mean, it is annoying when something breaks, though, especially in a challenge like this where you kind of have to give, like, stuff to other people and just kind of, like, hope for the best. So I can understand the frustration, but I still feel like we're trying to build this narrative of, like, Camille is evil and villainous, and I just don't get it. I just think that she's... This is the type of person she is. I feel like I'm defending Camille a lot. I mean... She did... Ugh, I don't know. It's really difficult. Really difficult. I need more Pips Valley A Max. It's the rain. They love those B-rolls of like people Hi, in the Mom. rain. How are you? Are you okay? okay. My hair is starting. It's, it's continuing to fall out. Oh. Like a lot. It's a lot of stress, and mm. when you have lupus, you can't stress out, and it's difficult to do in this house because it's very stressful. There's so much Where coming are out. Are they not making care. adequate fucking? Okay, don't be scared. Okay. Don't worry. Okay, try not to stress out. It's not good. Okay. Honey. I heard you. I'm sorry. I don't want you to feel bad because you can't do anything. I'm just trying to just like keep on pushing myself. Because I don't think the producers are making adequate like adjustments for her needs. That's the vibe that I'm getting. They're just kind of using it as a storyline because clearly she's very distressed about something that she can't control. So that's I guess that's the 2000s for you. Because, you know, it's not that bad. Lupus, I'm like living and I'm okay. I get tired occasionally. I'm here and I'm going to do what that's I can to make it to the top. Why are they giving this like uplifting music about this? Like that's... You shouldn't have to fight harder in a competition where everybody else doesn't have to do that. There's a limo outside. A limo's wacky, eh? But it yeah. sure is parked right in front. So I'm going with Shandy and Ziamara. We're getting ready to go out in the evening. Oh, yes, of for course, because they want a, we have no idea who's a dinner. Coming. The dinner lady. What's up, ladies? Wow. Oh, 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 look who it is. She's so long time. Our guest is last year's winner of America's Next Top Model, Adrian. Huh. The budget. There wasn't any. I'm like busy every single day. I just did a, a Christopher Dean runway show. I am blinged out to death because of Serrano Diamonds. I'm a diamond spokesmodel. Got Revlon on my back burner. But like, I'm actually living what's going to happen to one of you. So exciting! Oh, yes. true. It is quite exciting, I suppose. Oh, We're going smoking. To restaurant in the Never see that now. And uh, we have the VIP room all to ourselves. The back room. Uh, uh, who do you guys want? Do you know, I'm not sure I would enjoy eating in a back room in a restaurant. I feel like part of the fancy restaurant, like, vibe is the atmosphere of, like, everybody else also enjoying their evenings. Do you know what I mean? If you kind of walk through a busy restaurant and then are put in a back room where it's quiet and it's only really you and your guest, kind of a vibe killer, not gonna lie. What do you think about that? To be eliminated nuts. 
Camille. 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 The bitch broke my earrings. She broke my earrings. I completely understand where you're coming from. I had a girl borrow clothes, wore them out to cup, spilled all of them, ruined like Christian Dior glasses and uh, stuff. And that's that's what you got to deal with the real world. These bitches don't care. Okay, okay, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do a freaking uh, 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 impersonation. Whatever. What are you all talking about? She has a little walls, like little. At least she gets like. Ready? This is the same girl who cried about being called a hoe. They are really not being very kind, are they? No. At this point, I kind of run out a little bit of things to say about that specific situation, because how many more times can I say, like, I feel like the production storyline is going, Camille is a villain, girls! Okay. Oh, Katie. <laughs> oh, are they? Oh, I see. <laughs> Tits for tat, read the house. Backstage. She does have a little bit of a stomp. Who are we doing? But this is the first runway, right? Oh, is this necessary? I mean, My sure. My campaign is done completely nude, you know, in a pool, all like... It's so... Oh, so nice. <laughs> so nice. Oh, like, wow. Okay, honey, it's gonna be a long day. We're real sorry. I'm like, long day. I'm gonna be naked in a pool covered in diamonds. What are you talking about? Long day. Luxury. Well, you guys have the opportunity of a lifetime. Don't screw this. This up. is a very interesting, interesting segment because it kind of feels like, well, we know that like a couple of things for Adrian didn't actually work. They weren't actually like given to her in the end. And we know this because there's been a couple of scandals around it. So the idea that she's been invited back to tell these three about like what's going to happen in your future if you win, it feels a bit predator a bit like the producers have put them in here to be like yeah so make sure you up the drama make sure you up your want because if you don't you won't get all these diamonds diamonds it's the night she's got gout oh my god there's a house fire girl also can we just segue i love the fact that this tyra mail just appears on the side it's like no a producer has put that there it's not a letterbox where it's just mysterious person delivers letter a it's like someone puts that there and then goes who should i pick uh, uh you come over and say tyra mail and then read it to the group tell all tabloids pushy paparazzi and fanatical fans tomorrow you'll be shocked and amazed by the stars you'll meet be ready at 6 30 in the morning oh crap Ooh. i don't have anything to wear that's the time I used to be ready for to go to university. What's Good this? Morning, oh, girls. my goodness. Hi. Just instantly there. As a top model, you guys need well, to like learn how to take on the persona of someone else. Do you? So today... I the... thought it was the point of letting your self-style shine through. I thought that was the point of this episode. Otherwise, why did they have a styling challenge if they're just going to become someone else? Of someone else. So today, we're gonna turn you girls into some of the world's most famous celebrities. Oh right. One of the most important people on today's shoot is your photographer, Andrew Eccles. Tell the girls some of the Andrew celebrities Andrew Eccles. Work. Some of my favorites to photograph are probably Tyra, Brooke Shields, John Travolta. So I photographed all sorts of people. Katie. Are we doing a gender swap? You are going to be Marilyn Monroe. <laughs> okay. Mercedes, you're gonna be Billie Holiday. Oh, yeah. April. Oh. Oh. See Amata. Who else could you be but Grace Jones? Okay. Jay just told me that I'm being made over to be uh, Grace Jones. I don't feel like I look like her. I said, is this what's happening to me? Why? And just all these thoughts were coming in my head like, this is not going to be good. Where are they? Where are they? Where are they? Oh my goodness. <laughs> Okay, Siamara in this episode is kind of being a bit difficult. I wonder if they're trying to make us feel like she's being a pain so that we justify her being in the bottom two. <gasps> Ooh, it's a scandal, girls. Let me explain something to you. Yeah. Grace, Grace is gorgeous. a fashion icon. That's yes. somebody that Janice used to work with. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And you're going to have like the biggest transformation because you don't look like her. Tina Turn? Sorry, was she called Tina Turnbow? Amazing. What's this? Oh. Jay started me off by airbrushing me. It was like a personal project <gasps> to him turning me into Grace. 
Oh no, oh no, oh no. I don't know if I can even have the uh, oomph and the gumption and the gall to talk about that today because I feel like that's still a problem. So a while ago, I watched a video in which Miles J, the absolute internet celebrity icon that they are, I watched a video in which they explained that even though they are black, painting their face darker is still a form of blackface. So I don't feel like I'm quite skilled enough in this particular area or knowledgeable enough in this particular area to comment, but it definitely made me feel awkward to watch that. Oh God, it's going to be that episode, isn't it? One of these episodes. Are you feeling it? I'm feeling it. Mm. Audrey Hepburn. I feel like Audrey Hepburn. No. She's one of my favorite um, movie stars of all time. That looks no. great, good. No, I don't think. I think they might have picked Selma for me because she's short and I'm short, but she's definitely got the the T as far as the T and A goes. <laughs> the T. Selma Hayek. Selma's Ooh. got a very curvaceous little body, so you're gonna have to. <laughs> Janasha, you had a difficult challenge. Selma's confidence. It's not the easiest thing oh, she to looks find. So out. gorgeous! Try, uh, look at those cheekbones. Ah. Now, Janasha, the less teeth you show, the more you look like Selma Hayek. Do the this. Le- do this. Oh, 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 oh. What? That's a two-way street. It's not for me to run all the way over there and grab everything from you. It's. Wait, did she Good. just give some attitude then? What was that? Oh, oh, oh. The more you look like Selma Hayek. Do this. Do this. Oh, 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 oh. What? That's a two-way street. It's Ooh. not for me to run all the way over there and grab everything from you. It's good. You like that, honey? You want to talk? I got some more. <laughs> she probably hasn't been in front of the camera very often. She's gonna have to work very hard from this point on. Oh, I don't know. I don't know how that. What? No, I, I, oh. Here we go, Sarah. Tougher. Ange- oh, she looks good. Portraying Angelina is finding that really raw sexuality. I'm sorry, didn't they say in season one when, was it Tessa had her hand in her? Oh no, was it, um, no, I think it was, was it Giselle? Had their thumb down their bikini underwear and they were like, yeah, you slut, get out. So the idea that now they're like, yes, go on, do it a bit more, go on. Oh, you dirty slapper. I'm going to cream. You know, is finding that really raw sexuality. Like, don't be afraid to see like that so you can get that muscle and all that stuff in there. There you go. Sarah, put your pussy away, Matter. Just a bit. Can you do more sinister, oh, Sarah? Squint the eyes. Squint like you're mad. Oh, no. But the hair, the blood, oh, the hair, the my God. And be like, what a hateful is. wig. Hey, I'm really sick. I just feel like I'm going to faint. I'm just really tired. Oh, Miss but I'm, I'm trying to hide it. <laughs> They haven't Grace helped Jones. you. She's they like 20,000 like, oh, shades darker God. than me. I was like, I don't know how this is going to work. Good. Oh, good. It's Shandy, like we're going to watch a car accident. It's nice. horrible. It? Shandy, you look beautiful. Absolutely. I'm so shocked that I don't even know who Shandy is. Who is she trying to be? Who is this? Who have they made her? I don't know how this is going to work. Good. Nicole, Nick Quablo, you, you must know? mean Nick Quabliers. Nice. How's that? Shandy, you look beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. Great. Good. Oh, this is so Ooh. Diana Ross. Diana Ross. She's definitely a strong diva. And I see myself in the same When light. I think of the word diva, I think of Diana Ross. <gasps> oh, the costume. Wow. Amazing. But... I know. You look crazy. It's awesome. Seymour was worried. Like, I know that Seymour probably wanted to be like a more glamorous person. But what I think of Grace Jones, she scared us crap out of I don't know if Are Grace ready, Jones Catherine? would approve of this. Come on, darling. This way, just a little bit, April. Catherine Zeta. Beautiful. April. She seems to be that really unique like find that turns up now and again. They never, if you look at this, look at this. And they never, when they do her makeup, they never, ever match her undertone. You can see her face is a completely different color to her neck. That turns up now and again. Oh. This photo shoot, I really need to up my game to make sure I stay here. Good. I Turn mean. Oh yeah, put your arms back because you're covering your breasts. Stretch breasts. your legs out a little bit more. Mummy's nice. got breasts. The booty's not out though, stick Good. the booty. Um. You're doing like this, so you're not really getting anywhere. If you go way um. back. Okay. 
then you're like, I don't know how I feel about this. I'm yeah. sure some people in the audience really will love it. I think it's just a hateful strong. wig. It's very Doing Amazon, very Prime Day special Thank fail. You. Everybody clap. Strong. Strong. Like, you know? Mm -hmm. At first, I was really scared. I'm like, I hope I come off looking like her. All right, darling, here we go. Good. The legs like that are good, but then maybe the upper body is still sort of straight and tough. Yeah, good. Open your legs more, Seymour. Uh, no, no. Great. I tell you, this is like going back in time. Good. Just real. Go for it. Gorgeous! I didn't think I looked like her, but now I know. They did not have to paint her skin deeper in order to get an authentic Grace Jones-like moment. They didn't paint anybody else's skin lighter and whiter in order to get some of the more pale people. Mm. No, not for me, girls. Gorgeous! I didn't think I looked like her, but now I know I do. We got it! You're done! I still don't think... This photo is so important That's gorgeous to me because hair. my my second and third were iffy. Just sort of cup it with uh, with your hand. Yep, good. Billy Holiday. You look beautiful. Let me just have a look at this. Wait for one second. Oh, I can Mercedes tell seemed she's nervous. not feeling good. I detected that she was even shaking just a little bit. I was nervous because I just didn't know if I can capture Billy Holiday's um, essence. Swell up with the like the sexiness like this, like. Just... Good. There you go. Mercedes. Oh. This is exactly yeah. what we need. Nice. Good. I mean, she looks gorgeous. She's oh, I don't know about this, though. It feels Excellent. like they have... Well oh, I don't know. I pray to God every time <laughs> I him... I pray to God every time that I ask him to put a little oomph in for me. Why are they trying to make it out as if she's overcome this hurdle of a disability? I this whole short complex. Possibly, I don't want this enough. This looks like a lot, a lot of hard work. Just six months of modeling school, walking all yeah, that Yeah, this is a career, sis. I'm kind of scared. Janasha and Katie, maybe? The worst days of my life, I really just want to go home. I'm at a breaking point, and I called she my really looks like Justin Marilyn, though, didn't she? Him, you know, screw it. I thought I was going to have this amazing life experience and just be live to tell you know tell about it and all this stuff no you sound like you just want to quit i don't like hearing that in your voice I, I my girlfriend's not a quitter i want this so badly that i'm almost changing myself and that's not how i'm gonna get to the top oh america's next top subway girls tomorrow you will meet with the judges it's gonna be you guys uh, well, is it time to eliminate oh look at that salad that's disgusting my salad. I am definitely nervous that those rough days that I did have are going to affect me and they are going to think I'm strong enough. Ooh. Is it time to bleed? Oh, a lovely photo. Oh, okay. Wow. I'm sorry. I don't like that makeup. This makeup. This makeup. This makeup. I love it. I love a dark, smoky eye. Oh, she looks so ferocious. Like, really intimidating. This is why I love deep, smoky eyes, because they just instill this, like, talk to me and I will eat you alive kind of vibe. Do you know what I mean? Ah, love it. Hello, Nigel. Hi. You Ooh. guys look so nice. It's like sexified Catholic school. Yeah. <laughs> you guys had a really busy week. You learned all Why about are they all in black dresses? Style. And... You got to impersonate a famous person on your photo shoot. Interesting. And if you look at my picture right here, this is Mariah Carey and Lil' Kim's baby. <laughs> <laughs> we had a lot of fun with that. And of course, we have our panel of crazy judges. We have Janice Dickinson. Janice, Janice Dickinson is modeling. a best-selling author and the first supermodel. So she's and she's also the and inventor Eric of the bumpet. Senior fashion editor at Jane Magazine. Jane. Rachel Barker, noted fashion photographer. Our guest nice judge show. is a beautiful Betsy Johnson. Oh, she's insane. All right, here are the prizes. The winner will receive a contract with IMG, which is the number one modeling in. management firm in the world. I thought Wilhelmina was. spread in Jane Magazine. Janet. And a cosmetics campaign with Sephora. <gasps> Sephora girls. Do you know, weirdly enough, I was in... Oh my God, I'm going to sound like such a pretentious bitch. I was paragliding over the coast of Sicily last weekend. No joke. I was actually doing that. Oh, it's perfect. 
<laughs> oh my oh. god! Wow! And it was the first time I'd ever actually seen a Sephora in real life. And obviously not paragliding, but in Sicily in general. I was like, oh my god, there's actually a Sephora. I didn't go in. And I didn't buy anything because I was like, I know I was going to spend thousands of pounds if I actually went into there. I suppose it would be euros. But I was like, this is the first time I've ever seen a Sephora in real life. We just don't have them in the UK. And that's kind of a shame because I would love to have access to the brands. But there we go. Right, what's this? Now it's time for your individual evaluation. And Betsy's going to administer your test. test. You're going to be tested on your ability to accessorize your little black dress. Oh, diamonds. You all have the same stuff in your pile. Okay. Pick out what you're going to put on. Show me your style, but make yourself look like you're going out on the town in New York City. Ooh. Be ready New York City girls. In 60 seconds. Oh, ready. Okay. Set, oh, I quite like this. Go. Go, go. go. Horrible. Don't put a hat on with a gown. Oh, it's very Four, 2000. Three, two, Simple, bold jewelry. And stick to one color. Okay, Joanna. Well, I wanted to keep it simple and um, just have my pearls and my simple black dress. I think it works. I mean, you it does. Going it's a bit aging. In London, Paris, or, or New York. Thank you. This was your best shot on your um, impersonation day. Aww. Audrey Hepburn. Does she have what it takes to be on top? Is she a blouse? <laughs> I think your eyes look fantastic. Yeah. I mean, Boom. a lovely photo. Okay, April. Oh. You're looking a little Kmart to me. The, the dress looks better without, without the scarf. Yeah, That's don't wear like a that. scarf and yeah. a dress. And here's your That's best better. Shot. Evening Christina chiffon. <laughs> it's Catherine's yeah, Zeta-Jones. It is. Uh, yeah. yeah, it's the best I've seen. Your eyes look mm -hmm. fantastic. Uh, the obvious thing for you would, of course, have been to be who? Lucy Lou. Lucy Lou. Lou. But I wanted to challenge you and push you. I feel like Catherine Zeta-Jones might have a little something, something yeah. in her, too. <laughs> <laughs> Mercedes, come on down. I chose the pearls and the purse for a classic look take and then the scarf, the scarf off. for fun. Bad prom, baby. Can you take it all off? Take the scarf to tie your boyfriend up with. Take your hair down, go back to your station, and really think about it this time. Ooh, look at that. Got it. Gorgeous. Oh. We have your picture. Did you put a belt over one shoulder? Oh, that is nice. The good thing about you is that you gave changed little where changes with each frame. It's like instinctual for you. Okay, up next we have Shandy. I chose the scarf. I just want to add a little bit of texture to the to the dress. I always think that models, when they tie things around their waist, they're just hiding a large ass. I'd say take off that purse. And the senorita shawl. Hiding a large ass. Hasta la vista, baby. It's in Why vogue don't you go now. Grab that pearl bracelet Grab and take that pearl. ring off. Good choice, T. It's like Alice in Wonderland Good now. Good choice, mm -hmm. T. On Park Avenue. And this is your best shot. Who's that? The whole kid. Yeah. Nick you nailed who you were meant to be, but it looks a little stiff. I will say, Shandy does come across as quite a stiff person. She does need to, like, loosen up a little bit and be more, like, make use of how long and elegant she is. But this is, like, what, 20 years ago? So what's the point of me even giving that level of advice, girls? But they're really favouriting Shandy, have you noticed? Because she kind of has the body type that was very in fashion back then. But it looks a little stiff. Oh yeah. no, the deadliest yeah, catch! A dead body. Take your hat off. Take the hair down. You just need a hoop earring now. It's very Sophia Loren. Yeah, look at that. Hideous. Model. Model, here's your best shot. Wow. Oh. Oh, wow. Angelina Jolie. <laughs> Where's your vial of Billy Bob Thornton's blood? I think you definitely got her attitude. Your eyes, like, you had a hard time putting intensity into them. Okay. Camille? And so, off to the guillotine. Silver chain, and um, I like it because it accents my neck. Yeah. And um, I chose a ring because the shapes are circles, as you see circles That is here. such a sensible it, it idea. Would a little bit more confidence, maybe, if you just said, I chose the necklace because I loved it. A simple necklace, like a lot of thought went into this, and even how the circles... All I'm saying is that it's not brain surgery, you know? I, Don't make it into brain yeah, surgery. I understand what you're saying, but um, I want to be right. You had to impersonate a famous person? No! I'm someone who likes to analyze why I'm wearing things, why I do things, and why I have things in certain places in my house. 
in my style, in my body, in my setup, everything. I like to understand a reason behind what I'm doing. So the idea that he said, it's not brain surgery, but then to someone else would go, take it all off, put it back on and really think about what you're doing, makes no sense. Because how can you say that to one contestant and then say, it's not brain surgery, just say you like it. It's like, well, she did say why she liked it. She said, it accentuates my neck. What's the problem there, editor of Janet? I think she looked very glamorous. I think a clutch is an excellent idea with a little black dress because it elevates it to the idea that you could just be going to a restaurant or to a fancy bar or anything. You had to impersonate a famous person. Here was your she best shot. She looks so nervous Call now. Call me Miss Ross. Essence, wow. here we come. Oh no. Janice is displeased immediately. I love hats and the belt because I felt like I needed something to go with the hat. You look confused. Bring up your confidence. Can you do me a favor and remove the hat? And the belt. And the belt. Can you take off the oh. earrings? Yeah, lose everything. <laughs> that, you are so elegant. I don't know how to do elegant so yet. Elegant. You know, I want to see America's Next Top Model and I don't want to see America's Next Top Street Model. Well, madam, what about your necklace? That says street model. Although, actually, I would wear that necklace, so... Not that hairstyle, though. It's like a bump it on a pineapple. Bump it up with Bump It. Get that salon-style look fast and easy. So you had um, your photo shoot, and here was your best shot. Oh, gorgeous. Nice. Selma Hayek. Gorgeous. And finally, I see a little mom. Gorgeous. Katie. I wanted to keep it really simple, because I think it's a gorgeous dress, it's quite and I didn't 60s. want to take away from it. Yeah, I like the fact that you thought of a certain era, you know, with the whole mod thing. This is your best shot. Wow. You were Marilyn. You look like a beautiful guy here. There's something about it that's a little bit drag. I've been around drag queens and they wish they looked like that. Do you know, I was gonna say that, but I also thought maybe I'll hold my tongue. I've been around drag queens and they wish they looked like that. The thing is, shall we just have a little bit of a moment to think about what that sentence means? So back in the day, Actually, I'm gonna restart that sentence. Nowadays, drag is seen as a viable income source that is actually a trend-setting industry worth billions of dollars. Back in this day and age, when this aired, to call a woman or to suggest that a woman looked like she was doing drag was a bit of a backhanded insult. But also what's interesting is that she had no say in the styling. So they made her look like that on purpose. What does that say about production, girls? I wonder. Okay, Siamara. Siamara. I want to think 70s with the headscarf, like very like Mary Tyler Moore. Your Guns and Roses, though, not Mary Tyler right. Moore. Right. Mm. I'd like to lose the earrings in the uh, bag. Mm. The belt yeah. doesn't go with the scarf. See, now that's know. very. Oh, it's what is this? Harmon? Gypsy. 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 That's what it is. That's totally my style. Thank you. Here's your best shot. <sighs> Whoa. Grace Jones. Jones. Can we have a close up? Wow. You look like a Nubian space goddess. I gave it to you because I knew that you could handle it. Grace would be proud. Would she okay, though? Thank you. Would Grace be proud? Um, Joanna. Joanna, I think, is one of the most beautiful faces in the competition. Oh, goodness. She looks possessed in this photograph, like a possessed Audrey Hepburn. A possessed Audrey Hepburn. The body, it's the one note with the face. Camille, she nailed Diana Ross. But I hated her attitude tonight. She didn't know what she was talking she about. She didn't have an they attitude. The girl makes the most noise. <laughs> Camille is like, you know, I'm the baddest <laughs> bitch up in here. Camille, she better be careful. Janasha. Camille has got to be careful. Want to see a more positive person. She's still too short. I like that Janasha is short. I think it's special. It makes you stand out. But, you know. Are we going to have this discussion every week until she goes? Is this what it's going to be? Because clearly she's not going to win because obviously the short girl is not going to win this season. Obviously. Like they just, they keep saying it in such a negative way. Like she's short. She's short. Every time in every single deliberation over their photos, it's always like, she's too short. I like that she's short. She's short. Okay. Like, you said it once, why are you saying it again? Asha is short. I think it's special, it makes you stand out. But, you know, when you have things that are lacking next to the other girls, you have to have something extra special. And I don't feel like she does. Wow. She, I, mean, I Ooh, like her. What a cutting uh, thing to say. The oddness, the, the black sheep. Ooh. April. Bait. In this picture, she comes a little bit Latoya Jackson. She seems very analytical um, and less romantic. Miss Katie. 
Katie is so sort of dead in front of the camera. I, I don't think she's strong enough to um, cut it. Sadie. Kind of agree. What's so beautiful about this is that there's such incredible sort of sadness in her eyes. I wasn't happy with Seymour on set when she found out that she was going to be Grace Jones. I feel like, you know, ethnic women never want to be darker. Uh, never. Thousands of girls want to be here, and you're yeah. tripping up that we're going to be Grace Jones? Grace is like a fashion icon, gorgeous, beautiful yeah. black woman, you know? Oh, and I just, I was just a little insulted by that. Oh, I sort of don't like how she's trying to even justify it there. Nine beautiful ladies standing in front of Nine me. Nine women had eight on the game. Minutes. Who and is David Blair? Oh, look, the lead warmers! That will still be in the running towards becoming America's Leg next Leg warmers and a pair of heels. Very true. First 2000s. name I'm going to call, Mercedes. Oh, yes, bitch. Lately, I've seen your energy is just not the same as it used to be. But I would love to see that bubbly personality come Why back. Why do you think that might be, Tyra? Surely you know as an executive producer. Still in the next top model. See you tomorrow. Yes, the Amara. This well, she's one of not been likable this time, though. In the bunch. Congratulations. Thank you. Shandy. Ooh. Congratulations. Gagged. The pageant. Joanna. I don't know who is going to be in the bottom. Katie versus. Congratulations. April. Oh. I still feel like you're very analytical, but I want to see the sensitive and beautiful she's side so of you, pretty. too. Congratulations. Oh. Oh! Yes, Queen! This picture is absolutely gorgeous. I see Camille and I see Diana Ross. But another thing you have that Diana is known for is a diva attitude. Did you hear that overlay then? That was in a completely different audio like pitch. Did you hear that? Listen, listen, listen. I see Diana Ross. But another thing you have that Diana is known for is a diva attitude. And the most beautiful thing about the top models that America loves is being humble and being modest. Well, like you, Tyra. Congratulations. You're still on the running towards becoming American. Or Janice. Like yeah, Janice. Yeah, really humble. Oh, Janasha and Katie, please step forward. Oh, who's going to go? Oh, it's Janasha, surely. My hands. They keep being like, she's too short. Represents the woman that will still be in the running towards becoming America's next top model. Janasha, your Selma Hayek rendition was absolutely beautiful. Yes. But if you have something a little bit less than others, you gotta overcompensate. And I feel like you lack that. Katie, oh. your Marilyn Monroe rendition was gorgeous, but we feel like, is she strong enough to handle this business when it is constant critique and constant rejection? I'm looking at one woman's picture, and it's beautiful. Who is it? Who is it? Katie. I knew it! I can see the future! Clairvoyancy hoops! She's still in the running towards becoming oh. America's next top model. I knew it. I knew they weren't going to be able to be like, every week, she's too short, blah, blah, blah. Poor Janasha. She didn't really have a chance. Why cast her? Bye, the equivalent of a filler queen. This house is totally going to suck without me. I never thought that I would get here, so I never thought about you what I would do You can't fight your height. I'm going to go back to me and chicken wings get hooters and oh back to my friends and just being the happy person that i am you're saved from the nightmare that is america's next top model oh janasha fade into the lake oh executive producer oh dominici girls no well my lovelies oh, do you know what i can't say i'm gonna push my laptop away because i'm not at my laptop i'm at my editing suite <laughs> i love a new setup um what am i doing ridiculousness so my lovelies i have a couple of thoughts about what we've just watched actually the storylines in this episode continue to bewilder baffle and besmirch me <laughs> no they don't besmirch me personally but i don't understand why they're trying to really paint Camille out as this villain when she she really isn't. And I feel like at the end there, you could kind of see her nerves when they were like, well, why didn't you just like not do brain surgery? It's not brain surgery, girls. And there was like a little bit of fear in her eyes that it's like almost she looked like anything that she said 
would be taken and used against her. That's the kind of fear she had in her eyes. And I felt like that before, you know, if you've ever argued with a significant other that's been like a bit of an arsehole, should we say, it feels like at certain points, anything you say is gonna be used against you. Do you know what I mean? And that's the kind of vibe I got there. A little bit of that. Again, I felt very sorry for Janasha in this episode because you can kind of see that she's just getting sick of being told that she's too short. Too short, too short, too short. And it's like, well, why did production even cast her if all they've done is invite her onto this show to tell her how, how short she is? Like, that doesn't make any sense. I mean, I guess from a production point of view, it means that you know that this person isn't going to win, but you can kind of fill out a few episodes with extra drama about the height, heightism in the industry or something. But like, it dehumanizes someone, you know, to just reduce them to one aspect, her height. She wasn't that bad, was she? Like, let's be honest. Also, I still really don't like, well, I was gonna say I don't like Ioana. That's ridiculous for me to say. What I actually mean is I don't like how they're portraying Ioana to be like the good, goody, good, good person in this season. When actually I feel like a lot of the way that she's behaving, I don't get along with. I'm like, mm, that's, I, if I saw that and I was seeing, it was in the house and that was being done and she was being all like that, I would be like, Ioana, take it a step down, sis. Like, Stop being a bitch. You don't need to do that, do you? Anyway, my lovelies, let me know what you guys think about what we have seen today. It's been uh, very interesting to film again. Let me tell you that. I think it's time for me to do the Patreons, but it's been like two months since I filmed a video. So I have absolutely no idea how I'm going to do this. So should we have a little look on Patreon and see who's new and get a shout out? Should we do that? Let's do that. I want to say a massive hello and welcome to Dan H, Cayenne, Lindsay Bucks, Philip Worthington, Lauren Sidwell, Lynn Brown, Layla Owens, Lala W, Lauren Scott, Hannah, the domain of cat, Kieran McQueenie, Lisa Pennington, Les Banana, Chris Takington, Rachel Parker, and Jack Carey. And I want to say a massive thank you to my top tier Patreons, Aloria, Beebles32, Shell Herman, Christina Kyle, ContraPoints, Crafty Leaks, Danielle, Dr. A, Dr. Dreamarella, Dievod, Elizabeth Stone, Eric Castillo, Jen Martin, Jenny Hendricks, Caitlin Wright, Laura Jane, Laura Jane again, Les Banana, Lisa Pennington, Min Min TM, Moisten98, Mariah Sherman, Nixie Tricks, Paolo Rivera, Rachel V, Seabiscuit, Romano, Ryan Vita, Sasha Smith, Sexy Texy RN, Slampire Queen, Steffi Tex, Stephanie Niatupski, Travafall, Tromo, Victoria Carella, and Orcos Samoji. Thank you guys so much for remaining a Patreon, even though my content's been kind of a bit sporadic recently, but you'll be happy to know that we are back to regular scheduled programming. Make sure you check out my documentary. And with that, my lovelies, I will see you in the next video. <gasps> yes.